If you have data in different workbooks and you want to link them together, for example to create a report that automatically refreshes, you found the right video. So I'm gonna show you two methodologies and you let me know which one you prefer. So let's go. So I have two files in front of me. On the right side, this is a file that you would typically have in a shared folder. Every salesman will open it and update the quantities. And on the left side, you have the report. So that's the average price. I'll get the quantities from the right side and calculate my sales. Let's start with the first methodology, which is really straightforward. In my case, I need to use a VLOOKUP. So you need to have both files open, equal VLOOKUP, open parenthesis. We need the lookup value that's mark, comma, you need the table array. This is the difference. The table array is in the other file. So I'm just going to select it and notice the nomenclature. So you have the file name, the sheet name, volume, and the columns. Comma, I need the column index, which is two for quantity, comma, false for exact match. Close parenthesis double click and there you go you have your report now the cool thing about it is that if i come change this to 60 press enter it will automatically refresh now everybody is happy but i'm gonna stop the party here because if you have an older version of excel you might face some issues if you have the right file closed and only have the report opened it might not refresh automatically you will have to go to data refresh all so that's a bit annoying because you never know if you have the latest version of the report the other problem that you might face is that if you come and change the formula here without having the other file opened you might get a ref error when you press enter here in order to avoid all this let me show you a better methodology with power query it is pretty simple even if you don't know anything about power query so the first thing i want to do is save this file on the right Control S. There we go. Make this a bit bigger. And under data, you have get and transform data. Now, if you don't have this, it means your Excel version is before 2016. So don't panic. Just go to Google and you can download an add on and install it. It will work. Let's go to report PQ. This is the same data set. I'm just going to put the VLOOKUP here. Get data from file from Excel workbook. Here we have to select our file. So that's my file import. You get a menu like this one and under the file you have volume. You get your table. You can play with the data with transform data. I'm not going to do it here. I'm just going to load it straight up. So click on load. Now you have a new sheet called volume and you have the data. So I can come here and write my V lookup open parenthesis. That's mark. We go to volume, select the two columns then two for the column index and false for exact match. There we go, double click and you get the report. Now the advantage of this is that you can select the frequency of update. Now obviously you can also update manually. So let me show you how. If you go back to here, we can make this 55, Control S to save it. We can come back to our volume, right click, refresh. And this is our 55. We go back to our report, it's there. Now, this is not ideal. What we want is an automatic update. So what we're going to do is go to data and here under refresh all, you have connection properties. So click on your connection. And if you don't see it, you can just click on queries and connection. So that will open the window. Now refresh all connection properties. And here you have refresh every, let me just select it and make it one minute. You can also refresh when opening the file. I'm not going to select it. Press OK. And now what we're going to do is go here, make it 50, Control S, come back here. I'm just going to wait one minute and cut the video so you don't get bored. And boom, there you go. It's automatically refreshed. I hope you like it.